Hey there, it's Heather with Iris Healing Arts and some healthy sustainability tips for you. We're still on the rabbit compost, rabbit hutch cleanings, cage cleanings, compost topic that is. Check out the other videos I've posted, the one hot compost, but I wanted to show you kind of from the beginning. So this is how I get the cleanings from my neighbor just in five gallon buckets and you can see the Timothy hay pieces, the sawdust pellets, the poop, and uh, then in the wet is uh, the urine. So I'm going to actually not even compost these in a container. I'm going to simply put them out as kind of a just ongoing compost and mulch, if you will, for the spireas. This ground gets really battered around by the birds to try to, this time of year, get some grubs out of there. And so I like to put this on because come summertime, this gets direct sun for a lot of the day and having this extra bit of organic material just helps insulate the soil but it also will provide some nutrients to the spireas and ultimately breaks down because I've you'd never know it but I have spread gosh probably 25 or 30 gallons of rabbit cleanings, rabbit hutch, I keep saying that, rabbit hutch cleanings on this area now over the past few years and you can see it is down to bare soil but the great news is there are nutrients in the soil from the rabbit hutch cleanings that wouldn't be there otherwise so it's pretty great what a gift eh and I just leave the material a bit away from the kind of the root base, the branch base of the plant. And then I'll get my rake and move it around, even it out a bit. But rabbit compost material, both when it's raw like this, as well as once it gets composted, it's not hot like chicken manure and chicken pen cleanouts are. So it's just a lot gentler. So I said I'll just move that around, scatter it around these three spirea. There's one, two, and three. And then I won't go over the sedums here. And there's also a little bit of ornamental grass in here. I like to encourage ground cover plants up here just to, again, give a little bit of insulation to the soil during the times that it's hot, hot, hot. So that's the tip for today. If it was during a non wet time, i.e. dead of summer, or what have you, I would also wet these down just with hose water. That, yes, it has been dechlorinated by my aqua grow, thankfully. Um, I'll link that into this video too, but the help with the water just begins to help break down the material a little bit and of course gives moisture into the soil which it needs after we've had baking temperatures. Let's hope this year is a little bit less extreme and everything can have a little bit easier chance of being abundantly in their growth and production mode with flowers and fruits, veggies, berries, etc. 
without being so strained by the heat and also without taking so dang much water. So there you go. That is fresh rabbit hutch clean out material. It's going to become in situ compost just on its own without any intervention for me or any special container. Keep gardening, keep being mindful of our dear mother, and keep looking for ways that you can utilize what's available. Happy gardening, folks.